Hello, messing up my dining room table again. <laughs> I got these uh, cute little fish at the thrift store. And I think they're really cute like they are. But I'm going to paint them. I already kind of started at the bottom side. And I've got that in Zyle taped up. I just uncovered that one where you can see what it looks like. And after I get the bottom painted and dry good, um, I'll show you what I do to the rest of them. Okay, so far... Uh, I finished painting them with, uh, let's see if that's the one, with the ivory chalk paint from Walmart. And then it went over them with this stuff in this container. It's not Powerade. <laughs> it's, um, let me find it. I, got, I took a screenshot. I don't know how it's pronounced. I wonder if that'll show up. It's a uh, kind of like a glaze. It's a paint conditioner, and I found it by the um, uh, airbrush things. People put it in there, I guess, where it flows out good. And this is on Amazon for seven dollars for that bottle. I'm gonna get my green glasses on, and I'm gonna. My plan is to make this one darker by adding more of that uh, paint conditioner with this paint in it. I don't remember what kind of paint I added to it that's in that Powerade bottle, but it was kind of reddish brown. And so I added some yellow paint and it cut the red out. Okay, let's uh... Pour some of this in this cup. It shouldn't take a lot. And that um, paint conditioner, it gives you a lot of working time. So that's one good thing. There's some I had left in this little cup. I'm going to transfer over here. And so now I just want to make it a little darker than what I've already put on there. So it shouldn't take a lot. So. Okay, let me mix that pretty up. good. And now, let me start on the back. That'll be good practice. Because <laughs> that first time I put it on, I was just kind of sealing that chalk paint with it. Because I didn't want the darker to just, like soak into it or stick to it bad or whatever you call it. So now I'm just going to dab some on here. Too. Yeah, I've been feeling bad all weekend. I had a migraine Friday and uh, I still don't feel great. And then we went shopping Saturday and that night I was so sick. I don't know if it was a buffet we ate at or what. But I still ain't recovered from that. But uh, let's see. So now I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to take my wet cloth. It's taking off too much, ain't it? Hmm. Let's add a little more again. I want it to uh, kind of settle in the scales of the fish. Let me try a paper towel. Seems a little better. Okay, yeah, I think the paper towel is working better. But the, well, apparently the white cloth will take it off good if you need it off. And I'm putting a light coat, and I'm wanting it darker around the top where the little belly stands out. And uh, so I'll put another coat after this dries. But they remind me; these fish remind me of my balloon mollies. And uh, at the end of the video, <laughs> I'll include a clip of them. They're so cute. 
All right. And now I'm going to do this. Let's see how good that shows up. I'm gonna do this all over both of the fish and it's really hard to do it in, the, in between, but I'll be right back after I get this coat on. Okay, I've got the uh, darker coat on this. I'm gonna make this fish darker than this one, so I just didn't put another coat on that one. And uh, I put some on the uh, seaweed or whatever that is. The stuff I'm using like a glaze, it's a, uh, a lot less expensive than if you buy glaze. And the only thing I've noticed with it, I don't know if the glaze will do this, but uh, like if it's still a little tacky, it'll remove itself when you go to put another coat. Um, uh, put a little green, have a little color on it. And I thought about Maybe adding a little orange or something, but I don't know. Because <laughs> I want it to look like my little blue molly I've got over there that's orange. Y'all be sure to watch the end of the video and you'll see my little balloon mollies. Little pigs. They'll uh, come up to the glass every time I'm over there. Okay, let's wipe some of that off. And they'll actually eat stuff out of my hand. Kind of keeping the paper towel flat. We're going to leave it in the grooves. I use a little brush. I'm hoping I can just add some dark where I want it. Like I want it um, <clears throat> to make the belly look more round leave the belly lighter put some in this crease just blob some on there i didn't want to use the big brush though let's see maybe go down this way a little get some more of these fins No. Finger seems to work okay. I'm watching me wipe too much off. <laughs> Hopefully I won't. Use my finger for the darker areas. That might work. It might be better to do that with a uh, more coats though than trying to put it on too thick. Let's see. Better quit messing with it. Okay. And I'll do the little fish well. Let me go ahead and do the front of the little fish. I gotta make sure I don't want to use the dark stuff. I think it would just stand out a little too much, so I'm using that straight from the Powerade bottle. It's just got a little bit of the brown in it. Pile it on. Kind of experimenting with this thing. Okay, 
And then I'll uh, come back when I get them covered. You can see where I kept working with it. After I put it on, I kept, and it started removing itself. So I'm going to see if I can fix that. I don't know. I just have to like paint it on there and not touch it. Okay, now I need to leave it alone. Yes, well, I'm gonna glue some of this moss I probably got at Walmart. I'm gonna glue it on the little rails on the bottom. And I seen a video today that showed that a uh, Dollar Tree carries moss stones. I wish I had some of them, but I don't. And look at this glue stick I found. It was at Michael's or Hobby Lobby. It's just one big long thing. It was $1.99. I don't remember which store it was though. But we'll let this dry. And I'm going to put probably another coat of the dark one on there. And we'll remove the tape from the eyes and glue some moss on. I'm going to try getting a little sponge <clears throat> and using the color that's straight from the Powerade bottle, the lighter color, and just a uh, sponge around this where it's, you know, don't have the definite line showing up so much. I just stole a little piece of sponge off one of my cleaning sponges. Okay. Maybe that'll work. One way to find out. I'm probably going to add a little bit darker on their heads also. I'll go ahead and do that on this one. Yeah, I think it looks better with the, with the dark color going up on their head a little bit. Got a little carried away there. Okay. And I'll go over this little fish just a little bit with this sponge. Okay, get a good big bit on here for big guy here. And I probably need to not go over the same areas or I'll be picking it back up. <clears throat> I don't know why it does that, but it seems to. I'm gonna get some of the darker for his head. Get him over here where you can see him. Okay. And I'm going to glue a little bit of the moss on. Just to give you an idea. And then when I'm through doing that, I'm not going to do it on camera, but I'm going to paint brown or something there maybe. Because it won't really show. Okay, we'll start right. So I'll be working on this. Okay, and here's the finished product. I think it looks good. But I like it a lot. And on the uh, greenery, I just painted it the ivory color again. And went over it with the, what I call glaze. Because I just, I didn't like the green. And I also touched up a little more to make that not so much obvious line. Took tape off their eyes. Had to work on them a little bit because that tape didn't stick good. There was paint on them. And of course I glued the moss. And I put some little pads with the hot glue gun. And I was wanting to share something with you about this 
long glue stick. I don't like it because it'll pull the glue gun off the table. And it also pulls back on the glue so it doesn't come out good. I ended up having to hang it in the front of my shirt to get it where it wouldn't pull on it so much. But uh, let me know what you think. I love it. I loved it before, but I love it now. <laughs> and uh, stay tuned to see my little balloon mollies. They are so cute. <laughs> They're so chunky and cute. I got a black one, and that's one of the babies. I've got another baby in here. It's a little runt somewhere. But that's my little mollies. I also wanted to show you this painting my mom had done back in 2004. She passed away in 2013 and uh, she was really talented. She could draw good when she was like a toddler. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to share that.